Are you worried you might be using DMR wrong? There's a lot to keep in mind when you're on the air and proper etiquette can vary depending on who you're talking to. Today we're going to be talking about five of the most common mistakes hams make on DMR and how you can avoid them yourself. Number one, not listening. Have you ever heard the phrase, better to remain silent and be a fool than to speak and remove all doubt? Believe it or not, it's very relevant to transmitting on DMR. Every experienced ham radio operator can probably recall a time when they're in the middle of a great conversation just to have someone else butt in and begin talking. To avoid accidental interruption, simply wait for a natural break in the conversation before you key in. Ham radio has been around for a while, so there's no need to rush. This can also go both ways. Sometimes ham radio operators are just looking to make contact and move on rather than get roped into a conversation they don't have time for. Be mindful that you aren't preventing someone from moving on with their day and only rag to when you know the other party wants to as well. Number two, being forgetful. If you're a more of the live in the moment type of person, then this advice may not be for you. But for everyone else, keep track of your QSOs. Looking back on them later can feel like you're reliving the experience and you may have forgotten some really great ones. Number three, not learning. It's important in any hobby to accrue knowledge and build on your skills. Read books, listen to your peers, and strive for more advanced licenses and certifications. At the very least, we are begging you to learn the phonetic alphabet as it gets easier than an extra license and people will stop getting mad at you when you give your call sign incorrectly. Your goal should be to become the wise Elmer who gets into ham radio and shows others the ropes. If that's not your goal, hey, don't worry about it. Just please learn the phonetic alphabet. Number four, not researching. In this day and age, there's no reason to not research a topic before making a commitment. The same goes for purchasing a radio. There are plenty of resources out there, but the best one you can find is Bridgecom University. We offer hundreds of unique step-by-step -step lessons and tutorials for a variety of radios, hotspots, and accessories. If you're looking to do some serious research before buying, click the link in the description below to get informed. Number five, researching too much. As much helpful information there is out there, there's even more information that is outdated or anecdotal. Worse, many radio vendors almost seem unwilling or unable to provide information you need to know. Like we mentioned before, Bridgecom University is a trusted source for accurate, up-to-date information about a variety of amateur and commercial radio goods. And as always, our customer service and in-house tech team are available to help clarify anything you find confusing so you can finally commit to the gear you've been wanting for so long now. Now that you know some of the bad habits to avoid on DMR, you hopefully have a better understanding of where you are in your ham journey, but more importantly, where you want to be going. Watch our video on DMR etiquette to refine your craft even more. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Dylan, KF0, EKY, and 7.3.